on map five. Did not expect it when we looked at this series originally, but Panda playing very well. We're in this first round of retaliation. Optic just slamming over towards this B site. Formal and Skump pick up an early three kills. A very quick one versus three for Perfizi. If there is one player on this team, he, he's probably the one that could do it, but about to get pinched, and that's a quick round. Optic Gaming not wasting any time at all over towards B, and just could not do anything against Formal's AR. Yeah, you know, and we, we, we talked a little bit about the fact of, you know, whether Panda's a real deal. Is Optic starting slow? And you gotta remember, guys, if, if you weren't watching earlier today, obviously Panda had to play this morning to get into this match, right? So they've been playing all morning. They're a little bit more warmed up, and it, it sort of seems like Optic, if you compare the hard point, first hard point versus the second, it seems like they're getting a little bit more into this. That might be a big part of what it was, you know, just getting a couple games under your belt. What's, what's it like? I mean, you were a pro player, just getting a few games in? Going yeah. up against a team that's been playing for the past few hours? Depending on your warm-up, it might take a game or two to really get into it completely and feel 100% comfortable. I think it's just a combination, really. Optic is shooting better for sure, but Panda's sort of going away from what worked for them early in the, in the other games. All right, well, now it is going to be bomb planted. Optic going to have to work on the defuse. They've got the edge. They have a two-man edge now, surely, to be three here. It's going to be on Profizi and Profit. Now just Profizi again in a 1v3. That's back-to-back -back rounds where he's going to be relied on to make a hero play. Bomb hasn't been stuck yet. They've got him in bedroom, and that's two rounds for Optic Gaming. Man. Panda needs to do that post-plant positioning just a little bit better. You can't get wiped out that fast. No trades going down. Great plays, a great swarm overall from Optic Gaming. They're just playing extremely confident right now. I think Panda might be able to edge out maybe around two, possibly three in this one, but Optic, if they keep playing like this, they're gonna get their payloads much faster. I think it's just going to get out of control very quickly. Oh, yeah. It's like they're not even paying them respect right now. They're just flying at them, winning those one-on-one -on -one gunfights and getting it done very, very easily. Let's see if they can keep it going here as we do hop into round three. It's going to be Optic back to offense. Remember, it's just a mid-street flood the first time through. What do they opt to go with this time? It looks to be a very similar tactic, team. Man, with the way the last two rounds is doing, I'd do the same thing over and over again until they try and stop it. Seems like Panda is on the back foot for sure in this one. Formal actually has an E-Rat in his hand. That's a bit different. Wouldn't expect him to run something like that. But I guess if you're trying to get into bedroom, that's the way to do it. Three kills again. Different players this time. Karma and Krim6 picking up the kills. Profit now stuck in the one versus three. A nice shot over towards Krim towards that far side. But, man, this round should be over pretty quick as well. Yeah, and the Profit's got your only two kills. I mean, this is uh, really as ugly as it can be to open up three rounds of search and destroy. It's not like you're, you're going down to nail-biting rounds and you feel like you're playing them tough. You feel like you're getting you know, your head bashed in basically at this point. Finds a second there. He's going to have all three of their kills now. Needs the rest of his team to step it up. I, I just wonder if that last hard point kind of threw them off a little bit. They, they got hit. They got hit hard. I, I think it did, and that's really what it looks like. It doesn't seem like, like they're talking the same way. The energy seems to be gone in the style of play that they're doing. And what was working for them was that sort of uh, crazy style. They just play like freaks, jumping around the map, spinning around in circles and winning those gunfights. Now they're slowing it down and just lining up these easy gunfights for Optic. All four players on the team with three kills for them. That's just a team for performance. They're watching their gaps. They're doing their bread and butter sort of strategies, working out so well for him. Finally, fastball with a kill. Well, he's able to get on the board. I thought he suspected he went in from behind. I believe his teammate was able to pick that up, and now he's going to push through. Will get dropped. Two players left in Krim and Skump here to try and clutch up. Profits set up there at top balcony, but not going to matter. If Skump is able to find the kill, and you had the early edge, but it may not matter. But with that kill, you do put Krim by himself, looking to clutch a 1v2. Does have an NV4, which is going to be nice for the range of these two gunfights, but they know right where he is, and he's in a bit of a trap here. Putting some shots into Krim right now. He's in a tough situation up towards this top plat. This player's just messing with all they, all they need to do is get him over to that bomb site. Only 15 seconds or so to work with now. And yeah, there's no chance for Krim in this one. Panda playing this one perfectly. Finally, took them four rounds to do it, but should get one on this one. Good patience, good discipline there. Just kind of teasing Krim, not allowing him to make a play. It's like they let him put just enough bullets in there that he didn't actually fly at him to right. try and f realize he needed to finish skill. He thought maybe they'll feed him one and then he can take it to the 1v1. Nice job there. Profizi now closing it out. As we continue on, Panda needs to get a couple more rounds under their belts to make this a contest. Is uh, I know they got one there, but the first three rounds were brutal. This is the defining round for me. Is Panda going to switch up what they're doing on defense or, or not? Optic's just doing the same sort of strategy over and over again, just taking it to them, flying at them, basically. But looks like a lot of aggression coming up towards this middle hallway. Might be to catch some timing on some players, but Formal's all over it. Trade's going down. 
Formal does get the first blood, but like you said, answered pretty much immediately. We're watching Profit with the E-Rad. He's already close to that FDL jump as he was the first one to really get anything going for this side. We'll swap over to Formal Field. He's gonna get challenged by one. Two more come through. They're able to trade it out. Now gonna be a 2v2. Karma and Skump going up against Profizi and Profit as they're gonna have to try and push through this very dead, deadly choke here through the stairwell. He's getting shot through a bike. Skump able to find one. They see him in the corner. You're not gonna find that kill. Good positioning by Skump. And just that's not an easy retake position from the side of Panda. It's not easy, but they made that very, very easy. One player just runs into a wall. The other one stomps down into Scum's sight. Uh, yeah. Not the best attempt there. Scum's like, thank you. Yeah, free two kills. Yep. It absolutely was. And now a four, a one advantage here for Optic Gaming. Panda trying to take this game five and get a great foothold in this pool B. A win here would be absolutely massive. A win for Optic Gaming cements them as the top team in the group. Looks like the same sort of strategy over towards B. Optic just doing so much better. Fastball just needs to chill over towards that hotel side, getting taken out early again. He's playing way too aggressive. Did not have a good S&D map in map number two. The guy needs to slow it down and play with his team. Well, what has been an incredibly entertaining series may prove to be a very anti-classic oh game five as Karma does it dirty to Pimby. That's a frustrating death there. And now on profit in the one versus four. He lit that bomb up and did find a kill. Tries to get away with the FTL jump. Let's see if he can make the play. It's all going to the corner. He is shooting at everything. That was weird. Maybe he tried to scare them away with his bullets. I don't know what they're doing. This I'm, is bad. As far as this game five goes, yeah, I, I don't know if it's just a matter again of optic warming up or just uh, they, they me, tilted, meeting their man. makers a bit. <laughs> they seem tilted, man. That kill that Karma got, he just absolutely shot the floor, the walls, everything but the player. And then that last play right there just seems like they're uh, not feeling too confident, to say the least. Well, that's that's a that's a big part of that that play style they enjoy, right? That, that kind of thrives on confidence when you want to play really fast and fly at people. When you're feeling good, when you're feeling like you're going to take those gunfights, it's easy to do. As soon as uh, you get throttled in a game four like they did, maybe it shakes the confidence a little bit. Do not try to push down those stairs against Optic Gaming because you will catch three to four nades in your face. They do back them down. Still four up for both sides as Krim working himself into the hotel hallway. Checking bedroom as well. Nobody home. And the bomb has been planted now at B. You see that number five on your mini map. That's going to be fastball all the way to the right. He's one that might be able to come in and make a flank on them, depending on the timing here. Might be able to find a couple. Here's fastball coming through. Does he get the angle? Didn't see one on his left. We'll find one inside a bedroom, but he gets dropped. And Optic Gaming, a perfect 4 0 in their pool. They struggled a bit early in this series. Props to Panda for playing them very, very tough. And it looks like they are going to be enjoying some tight matches in this group with the likes of Splice. I'm curious to see how that one goes. But ultimately, Optic gets it done. Uh, my question to you, Team. Okay, so if you're Panda and you play them so tough and you can you can almost taste victory, right? You have the 2-1 edge. You felt it should be a 3-0 at that point, And then it slips away. 